10 Tips for Professional Usernames. Hi, my name is Karen Daly and I'm the Marketing Director for ZAir. I hire new employees and I see a lot of resumes with bad email addresses. I would like to share some tips about email usernames that could help you get a job interview. After you watch this video, you should be able to identify poor usernames for professional accounts, explain why some usernames are unprofessional, and apply the tips to create professional usernames. Let me start with this question. Have you ever not opened an email address because of the username? I have. Think of your email username as your first impression. We are only talking about the username right now, not the email domain. Your username is the first part of your email address. KDaily is my username. Before I worked for ZAir, I had a different email address. Let's look at some example usernames. Some are good. Some are bad. Is Kissable Kitten a good username? Kissable Kitten is not a good username. This username could be misinterpreted as sexual. It would be inappropriate for the workplace. People might not open your email because they might think your email is spam or junk. Be modest when choosing a username. Modest means do not choose a username that is too cute. Do not choose a username that is sexual. Do not choose a username that says you are perfect. Is Karen80 a good username? Karen80 is not a good username. Hackers can guess that the number 80 may mean 1980 and be your birth year. Lurkers or bad people who watch you could then secretly follow you on social media to try to discover your exact date of birth. If someone has your birth date and they are able to find your address, you could become a victim of identity theft. Identity theft is when someone uses your personal information to do things like get new credit cards or steal money from you. For your username, do not use numbers like your birthday, social insurance number, home address, or phone number. If you do use a number, choose a number with a secret meaning. For example, the age you were when you had your first kiss. Protect your personal information when choosing a username. Is Kahlua Karen a good username? Kahlua is a type of alcohol. It is never okay for you to show your love for alcohol or drugs in an email address. It is not professional. Employers could think you will be a bad employee. You will not get a job interview with a username like this. Send the right message with your username. Do not give a bad first impression. Is Karen underscore daily dot 22 a good username? The number in this email address is better it is after my favorite hockey player, number 22, Haley Wickenheiser. The problem with this username is that there are too many punctuation marks and numbers. The underscore is a punctuation mark and the dot is a punctuation mark. There is an underscore and a dot in this username. Some email providers like Gmail or Microsoft Outlook Think that usernames with too many punctuation marks and numbers are spam or come from hackers. Email providers automatically filter some messages. Filtering means that some emails are automatically sent to your junk inbox. If your email goes to a junk inbox, the employer may not see it. If the employer does not see your email, you will not get a job interview. Get in the inbox. Do not use too many punctuation marks or numbers in your username. Is Thought Wizard a good username? It is okay to have a unique username, but it is best to use it for your personal accounts only. Your professional username should be neutral and not show your hobbies. Some people might not understand. Some people might think your username is strange or weird. Express yourself in your personal accounts.
Is kdaily.accntnt a good username? Spelling is very important for a job. Someone whose first language is English may be able to guess that ACCNTNT means accountant, but they may also think that you do not know how to spell. People might think that you do not take spelling seriously. Spelling is important at work. Show your education through your spelling. Is Care Bear a good username? Care Bear is my nickname. My friends from elementary school still call me this. I just changed the C in the word care to a K because my name is Karen. This username may be cute, but it is not a good choice. I do not want people calling me Care Bear at work. Again, this might be an okay username for a personal email account, not a professional one. Keep your nicknames sacred. Another word for sacred is special. Is Karen Antoinette Elizabeth Daly a good username? Karen Antoinette Elizabeth Daly is my full name, but Karen Antoinette Elizabeth Daly at gmail.ca is 38 characters long. It is way too long for an email address. Someone may accidentally make a typo or typing mistake when emailing me. I might not receive an important email. Also, many forms and applications have a maximum of 28 characters. I would not be able to type this address into a form. Karen Antoinette Elizabeth Daly is not a good username. Keep it simple. Your username should be short. Is Karen and Ken a good username? Now, I love my partner, but he may forget to tell me when I get an important email. Some employers may not want to send emails to this address because of privacy concerns. They do not want Ken reading company emails with private information. Karen and Ken is not a good username. Show your independence. Do not share the same email address with your family. Is Karen.daily a good username? Karen.daily is a good username. It is short and it includes my first name and last name. I can also change the dot to an underscore or dash. Use your name if it isn't too long. Is kdaily.cms a good username? kdaily.cms is a good username. CMS stands for Certified Marketing Specialist. It shows my profession. Your profession is your job. Use a combination of your name and profession. Let's review. When you choose your username, be modest. Protect your personal information. Send the right message. Get in the inbox. Express yourself in your personal accounts. Show your education through your spelling. Keep your nicknames sacred. Keep it simple. Show your independence. Use your name or a combination of your name and profession. I hope these tips are helpful. As I said, even if you have great work experience on your resume, you still need a professional email address to get an interview. Good luck in your job search.